inside of the 38 DBQ. And this is an awesome floor plan. It's a 42 foot trailer and it's just massive. And you have a lot of room in here in the living area as well as the bunk room. You have two bathrooms. So I'm gonna go through step by step and show you everything that we offer in this floor plan. So here at the entertainment center, you have a large LED TV. And what's awesome about this is it's actually on a swing arm. So people in the dinette, if you're sitting over there, you can see it. If you're in the kitchen cooking, you can see as well. And we also use this width of the slide to give you some storage behind this TV. As well as storage up above that uses the full width of the slide. So it's a nice, really deep storage area. Down below, you have your Bluetooth HDMI hookups right here for your radio. You have the 5,000 watt electric fireplace. So if you're already paying for electricity at the campground, you may as well use this, not burn through your LP. Moving along to the kitchen, seamless countertops, solid surface, really nice countertops, as well as the sink here. This is a deep farm style sink. There's no divider in here. You can put a pan in here really easy. It'll also come with sink covers, the same material as this countertop that you're looking at right here. Detachable hose. Makes it nice and easy while you're washing dishes. Back behind me, you'll see our nice range hood. Right now it has the glass top down, so you have this all as usable space. You fold it up, you have a nice cooking area with the steel here. Oven below, extra space for pans. Three nice drawers over here to the side. Nice and deep, all on the Roller glides, they can all hold 70 pounds, so they're nice sturdy. Underneath here, you've also got some nice storage. Tons of storage in this kitchen. Microwave up top. Over here by the fridge, this is a 14.7 cubic foot fridge. It's a residential fridge that's hooked up to your 1000 watt inverter that I showed you up front. So while you're going down the road, you're not gonna have to worry about your food spoiling. When I open it up here, You'll see it's really wide, really deep. You're going to be able to fit a ton of food in there. You have nice storage shelves on the side, four different ones. Close this up. You'll also see that you have two roller freezers here. Top one for lighter items. Bottom ones, you want to put your meats down here. It's a nice big chest style. Moving on here, you got a nice pantry. So lots of storage. Storage is really huge of savory. We try to put as much storage as we can in every single floor plan. Nice barn style door. Gives it a nice country feel in here. Moving along over here to the dinette. We have a nice four seater dinette with our new zebra shades. The zebra shades are really awesome. Right now they're in blackout mode. I lit it up, I let some light in. They go up really easy. Down as well. Put it back into blackout. Also with our dinette, all our chairs will go up. You'll have some nice storage down here for coloring books, just little stuff that you want to keep out of the way that you want to put in your other drawers. Moving along to our Cinemax seating. This will give you heat, it'll recline, it's a wall hugger. So it'll go all the way back even though it's so close to this. It also has massage as well as LED lights. So a really feature packed sofa over here. Moving along to the back. Going along with the storage, you have huge storage here. You have a nice little coffee nook down below. You can put a Keurig or something down there, maybe a crock pot. Storage drawers below. Nice big pantry. All of our pantries this year will have the motion sensor light. So that's a nice little touch in there. All of them are removable. So if you want to take these out and maybe put a broom or something in there, you can do that as well. So now we're in the bunk room of the 38 DBQ, and you'll see that it's equally massive in here. You've got the nice bunk set up over here. That sofa is a trundle sofa, so it'll actually pull out into a nice sized bed. You can actually sleep an adult on that bed. You have tons of wardrobe space over here, as well as over here. The ladder is blocking that one right now. Space up here and hookups for a TV. Up above you have our loft so that's actually a double loft so there's a ton of space up there as well as a space for a TV and 
And a big thing that mom and dad will like is they don't have to share a bathroom. You have a bathroom back here, the nice barn style door going into it. You got the shower. Medicine cabinet. As well as a nice deep sink. Area for towels. And a porcelain toilet. So here at the entryway, we have our LCI one control. So this is gonna control all of your lights, all of your slides. It has your owner manual in there. It has some informative videos on how to work different operations of this trailer. And it can also be hooked up to your smartphone. So there's a lot you can do with that. I definitely recommend looking into it more with the owner's manual. You have your tank monitor here. So you're gonna be able to check your tanks and you have your inverter switch here. Always make sure that's on while you're going down the road. We're gonna go back to the bathroom now. And as you can see, there's a ton of headroom in our showers. We use the nice skylight. So even without the skylight, they have a lot of room. So that really opens it up in here. You have the nice surround panel going around to protect your wallboards. Nice big sink, medicine cabinet is shown in the back. And then you have a porcelain toilet over here as well with a nice big storage area over here. So you can put lots of towels and stuff here. Walls in the back. Nice deep storage in the back. So a really flexible bathroom. So we're in the bedroom now, the 38 DBQ. The first thing I want to point out is the nice door that goes to your washer dryer prep here. So you can put an all in one system in there and very easily access it without going through your closet over here. These are also on the nice barn style door. Got a ton of room in here to hang clothes, store items back there. Lots of flexibility in the master. You have your entertainment system up here. There's a TV backer in here so you can install a mount as well as your storage drawers here. Moving on to the bed, it's actually able to lift up and you've got a lot of storage under here that you can work with. There are your kitchen sink covers in there. Nice king size bed, soft shades on the side. You have a little bit of area on the sides where you can put your cell phones, USB ports over there as well. A really awesome master bedroom.